what's going on guys this is me ron and i'm back again with the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a login application in python using sqlite database so let's do it first of all open up any editor i'm using intellij ide uh, go to file click on new and then click on project select python and then click next give the project name and then click finish this window and then right click new and then python file and give the name of the python file that is login app now first of all we are going to create a simple gui for that we need to import tk enter so import tk enter and I'm going to create main window main underscore window is equal to tk inter dot tk and then uh, I'm going to give the title of this window so main window dot title and here goes login form or application and then I'm going to give the size so geometry and here goes uh, 400 x sorry 400 x 300 and then i'm going to call the main loop method main loop let's check it there you go we got a simple windows now we are going to fill the control over here so here first of all i am going to give some padding so pad is equal to like 20 and main window and i'm going to give the padding property so pad x is equal to pad first of all i'm going to add one label info so info underscore label is equal to tk inter dot label here goes uh, first of all we need to add this label onto our main window so main window and then text goes text is equal to login application login application and add this label info to the grid geometry manager here goes row is equal to zero column is equal to zero and i'm going to uh, add another label that indicates the username so info underscore user is equal to tk inter dot label here goes main window comma text is equal to username and then info user dot grid row is equal to one column is equal to zero now uh, i'm going to use one entry controller so user input is equal to tk inter dot entry and I'm going to add this user input dot grid row is equal to one column is equal to one. Now I'm going to use another info, so I'm going to copy this and paste here. Here goes info underscore pass dot label here goes password password here goes info pass dot grid row is equal to 2 column is equal to 0 here goes password input pass input is equal to tk enter dot entry and here goes pass input dot grid row is equal to 2 column is equal to 1 
now finally i'm going to add one button so login underscore btn is equal to tk enter dot button here goes text is equal to login now check our simple gui there you go now we can add some padding so here i am going to add some padding here pad y is equal to 20 let's check got some padding and inside each button here i am going to add one padding also pad y is equal to 20 there you go now we don't get our button because we forget to add into our grid so login button dot grid row is equal to 3 column is equal to 1 right click run we must got our button also there you go this is our simple ui now we are going to create one database and then write the code in order to log in so minimize this first of all you need to import sqlite so import sqlite 3 and i'm going to define one function first of all i'm going to define some variable and associate those variable uh, to this entry form uh, entry control so here i'm going to define some variable user underscore input is equal to tk inter dot string bar and then pass underscore input is equal to tk inter dot string bar now insert those variable with these entries so here goes main window comma text variable is equal to user underscore input and here also main window comma text variable is equal to pass underscore input and i also forget here main window sorry for that and how we import our sqlite uh, now i'm going to define one function so def that should be two space so one two def login and inside this function we are going to create one database first of all so db is equal to sqlite 3 dot connect here goes the database name that is login dot sqlite sqlite and then db dot execute we are going to create one table inside that database so create table if not exist and then table name login and then a user name comma text comma password is text now we are going to insert some data so db dot execute here goes insert into login user name comma password and then values values i'm going to add simple value that is admin comma admin uh, 
uh, here should double quotes and at the end there should be double quotes there you go the editor is gone now we insert some value into our database now what we need to do is we need to query our database in order to do so db uh, cursor uh, we are going to define on cursor so you are cursor is equal to db dot cursor now we are going to write on query that check whether the user input username and password is in the database or not so for that cursor dot execute cursor dot execute select select all from login where i'm going to use parameter substitution in the placeholder so where username is equal to what this is called placeholder and password is equal to what comma we are going to pass the value in the tuple so here goes the user uh, we associate our variable in those two variables so sorry we associate our text box in those two variables so what we are going to do is here user underscore input dot get comma pass underscore input dot get we are going to substitute uh, username and password with this user input username and password and now i'm going to read the each row of the database table so uh, i'm going to define one variable that is row is equal to cursor dot phase one that will return the each uh, row of the database at a time so if that is row what we are going to do is we are going to display the message to the user saying that the login in success in order to do so we need to display the message box in order to display a message box we need to import some controls from the tk enter so from tk enter import message box now here message box dot so info info and here goes login success else if there is no row written by the user type username and password what we need to do is we need to display another message message box dot so info info login failed that's all now we need to call this function when the button is clicked so in order to call this button what we can do is sorry in order to call that function what we can do is we have one property that is command is equal to login but you need to write only the function name not with the uh, parenthesis because we are going to call the function not the value written by the function so call that function by only writing the name of that function so that's all now run it oh so we got some error here line 37 here i forget to comma now run it first of all i am going to write nothing in this text box and just click login oh we got some error here mm, i forget to write one more that should be that one now run it and just click login we need to have a message saying that login failed and i am going to write haphazardly and login fail 
and if I enter the value admin and admin I should see the message login success login success there you go now uh, our password is visible to the user so in order to hide that password what we can do is we can uh, have a property that is sorry not here here entry here goes so is equal to asterisk now we should not import same value again and again so comment that line and before commenting that line we need to uncomment that one again and i forget to do two things that is closing the database and committing the database transactions so here uh, cursor dot connection dot commit and db dot close so that committing means uh, we are saving the changes to the database and closing the database right click run again and here type admin admin login login success now i am going to copy this line again and add another value and comment that line control b i am going to type user right click run it now i am going to type user here admin i must see the message login success and if i enter here another username login fail so that's all in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this amazing tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel and subscribe this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon because each time we upload a video you will get the notification and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye